Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and in this series of videos, we're going to be introducing once a month our new products in the M5 Stack store. If you have any ideas for new products that you would like to see in the M5 Stack series, make sure to leave them down in the comments. In this video, let's have a look at the M5 bit and the PM2.5 sensor. First, let's check out the PM2.5 sensor. The PM2.5 sensor is an air quality sensor that can check the particulates in the air. It has a fan that can suck in the air and then it uses laser scattering to check the size of the particles. Here we can see the suspended particle matter, the temperature, humidity. We can store them in the IM5 stack on the SD card so we can log the data. And this is a very high quality sensor that can sense up to 300 microns size of particles. It comes preloaded with this program that shows the particulates, the temperature and humidity. And it all comes, also comes with this handy little stand, so you can use it straight off the bat. Now let's have a look at the M5 bit. You might notice that this is a micro bit. The micro bit has become a staple in the STEM classroom. And you might wonder, well, why would we use the M5 stack along with micro bit? Many students are comfortable with using the make code interface. The MakeCode interface is an easy way to program embedded devices such as the MicroBit. And for those that are familiar with using it, it, we thought we'd design this device so that we can communicate the MicroBit along with the M5 stack. It has a blue port on it, which is connecting to the UART port of the M5 Go or the M5 stack fire. So let's connect them up. The M5 stack library for the MakeCode website is still in development, but we have a small demo for, to show you in this video. We're going to connect the micro bit up with the M5 stack and also add in the fingerprint sensor. Now let's switch on the device. In this sample program, the M5 stack waits for a prompt from the micro bit. We press button A to add a fingerprint to the M5 stack. When we add a fingerprint, it tells us that user has been added successfully. And now, if it gets the same fingerprint, we can see a tick on the micro bit, showing that the fingerprint has been recognized. If we press a different fingerprint, which hasn't been added, we get the X symbol. And we can add more users with A and delete users with B. There'll be a link to this code down in the description so you can try it out for yourselves. While we're developing the M5 stack library for MakeCode, you can be thinking of ideas of how we could use the micro bit along with the M5 stack. Make sure to leave us some comments down in the comments section showing us your thoughts. That's it for today's product introduction. We'll be back next month introducing some new exciting products. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure to like and subscribe and leave your comments down in the comments section. See you next time.